But I, I do think what influenced the, the treatment our boys got in Penfui was that when the battalion had to surrender, there's truckloads of nips among them, you know, and overcome the nip bombers. And they come in on a bombing raid. Now our took the scrapers quick, smart, you see, and the nips go, oh, 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 nip on Scorky. And direct it on two truckloads of nips. Yeah. A lot of them were killed. The next, when they came back on the return run, mm -hmm. they got down on the side too with our blokes and weren't so many casualties. But after the thing was over, mm -hmm. our doctors and medicos treated the wounded soldiers nips the same as they did our boys because at that period of time they weren't enemy, they were wounded soldiers. Okay. And I do think that that influenced the treatment of us when we were in prison camp. Yeah. I played basketball with them and some of blokes would wrestle with them, you know. Mm -hmm. And the day we left Timor, that bloke, the nip, drew a badge on my arm mm -hmm. and he said, very bad men, be very careful. And we wondered what it was about, but he drew the Korean badge on our arm and yeah. they were worse than any nip. They were sadistic brutes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gee, they were yeah. terrible fellows. Okay.